All right, welcome to the channel. I know the title is a bit controversial, but I'm going to give you some of my thoughts on the positives, negatives, and how social media is affecting miniature painting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's get into it. With all the recent changes to the platforms and the algorithms and this push towards reels and short form content, is it making it harder to be a miniature painter on social media? Social media has revolutionized the hobby and provided us with a way to connect over a shared passion. The positive impact it's had on the hobby is immeasurable. It's provided us with different networks and platforms where we can share our work, document our progress and our process, open our eyes to new techniques and approaches, new manufacturers, and generally just change the way that we interact with the hobby. Recently, I took part in a challenge hosted by Darren Latham for the 90s Marine Challenge. Whenever this challenge started, I didn't have a 90s Marine model. I asked a couple of friends, they didn't have any, and I checked on eBay. The prices had skyrocketed, looking 15 to 25 pounds a model, and there was no way I was paying that much for some 90s plastic crack. Luckily, Darren put out a post, a call to action, if you will, for people within the community to share some of their old models with people who didn't have them. So I reached out to Stibio Primaris, and he offered to send me one for no cost and no shipping. What an absolute legend. Now I've offered to buy him a beer at the next event where I see him, so hopefully we can get it all squared away and get that pint. So I'm actually painting that model in the background of this video. So there is a full tutorial series for that model if you want to check it out, it's on my Patreon. So I was first introduced to the hobby back in the 90s, I think whenever I was like 5 or 6 or 7, somewhere around that age, quite young. So being able to paint one of these models was like going back in time. So I started my social media pages way back in the day because there wasn't a large painting community where I live. It was almost non-existent at the time. Social media gave me a place where I could track my progress, share my process and share my finished models. This allowed me to get feedback and helpful advice from painters all over the world, people who I normally wouldn't have the opportunity to speak to. And this is how I started to build my relationships in the community. A lot of these people I still talk to today over DM because they're scattered around the world. And it's been super interesting being able to talk to them about their approach and their techniques within miniature painting. It's been super rewarding going through this process and building these relationships in the community. One of the things I used to love about social media was the exposure that I give to lesser known artists. Been able to go into the explore or search and see a plethora of photos from people that I'd never heard of before with different styles and different techniques applied to their miniatures. It used to provide me with a ton of inspiration that I could take away and apply to my own stuff. It's half the reason why I have all the 75mm models and busts that I still haven't painted is from seeing different painters approach these models and apply different techniques to larger scale miniatures that encouraged me to branch out and try new things. And one of the great things about finding all of these new painters was seeing how different geographical locations approach painting with different techniques, different color palettes, different approaches, and how this all helped to inspire us to push to new boundaries and to apply new things to our models. One thing I can't stress enough is that sense of belonging and that sense of community that social media has brought to our hobby. There's different pockets of different groups and different places where you can go in and you can engage with like-minded people whether you want to do display painting, grim dark painting, tabletop, blood bowl, war cry, all of the other various gaming types whether you stick to 75mm or busts. There's communities out there and pages out there for every avenue or nook and cranny of the miniature painting community. I've made a lot of friends across different platforms and across different social media networks who I talk to on a regular basis either about the hobby or just about life. Some of which I've been lucky enough to meet at community events, at Golden Demon or just down at the pub for a drink. A lot of these people have helped push me in recent years to help elevate my painting and take me to the next level either through just supportive words or actionable feedback and it's been fantastic to have that in my hobby and in my life. But, there's always a but. With TikTok coming onto the scene, there's been a real change in the social media landscape with this big push towards short form content and to keep people scrolling through and engaging and watching for longer on certain segments of content, which doesn't necessarily always align to the standard photography approach that we take to miniature painting. So there are people who have made careers out of social media management and understanding how the algorithm works. I am not one of those people. I barely understand how the algorithm chooses content or how it pushes content out to a wider audience, so do take what I say with a pinch of salt. Whenever I started on Instagram, the only thing that you could share were pictures. Then I moved on to being able to share videos, and then it was stories, and now it's reels. And I don't know how much of that content necessarily aligns with our medium. 
Our miniatures tend to look good from a number of specific angles, either based on the miniature's pose, the scene that it's in, the lighting, the techniques that we use whenever we paint it. For example, non-metallic metals generally look good from certain viewing angles, directional lighting only looks good from certain angles, same with TMM as well. All of these things factor into how the miniature appears whenever you photograph that model. Whenever you start to like spin around or do things within reels to try and make them more exciting or more engaging, you may lose that context or that certain perspective. Now I will say one good thing that's come about from reels and shorts is the number of Warhammer memes. Some of those are absolutely banging. And also the number of likes and interactions that they're getting can only be a positive for the community. One solution you might suggest is to continue to use photos to share your miniatures. And while this is a good suggestion, it does create a number of new challenges. So you need to ensure that you're posting often and posting top quality content, which means that pretty much every photo that you take has to be a banger. So that means you need to have the correct composition, correct lighting, correct contrast, correct color grading, and all of the other post-production steps that you need to go through to create a top quality photo. Now this is quite a labor intensive process and also quite an expensive process if you need to buy proper lighting and a good camera on top of, I guess what's already an expensive and labor intensive hobby. I think this adds additional pressure to the hobby to not only produce top quality photography but also top quality miniatures and on a regular basis so that the algorithm continues to push them out to a wider audience. I'm not sure if this is down to the algorithm or other factors but I feel like I'm seeing fewer whips now which I think is a complete shame. I really enjoyed seeing people's whips and seeing their process as to how they got from starting the model to finishing the model, the steps they went through. And I always find this somewhat inspirational and educational because it gave me the, the confidence or at least some of the knowledge to try out new skills and new techniques on my models. And just on that topic of not seeing as many whips, I'm also not seeing as many new posts. Due to the changes with like explore and search, I'm no longer able to see new posts. I can only see top posts and top recent posts, which means I'm not seeing all of this new content from potentially new accounts, new artists, new painters, and it's a real shame that we're missing out on seeing all of this fantastic content. So not only am I not seeing new content, I'm also not seeing content from people that I follow. So there's been accounts that I've been following for months or years, and I think to myself, I haven't seen you know so-and-so paint in forever. I'll go check their account, and I see there's a number of posts that I just haven't seen appear on my feed. And I'm wondering to myself, is this something down to the algorithm? Is this down to trends? What's potentially causing this? And I'm really hoping that it's not because of trends. So my main concern about social media pushing trends is that it might prevent us from finding the next big thing or push people down a rabbit hole of what's popular and staying on trend, which would limit creativity, exploration, the chance to use new mediums, new techniques and new approaches within the hobby. So within the competition, seeing people always strive to do better, to try new mediums, try new techniques and to push their art to the next level. If you pair that alongside social media and this tendency to follow the algorithm or to follow what's popular, I feel like these two just don't work in tandem anymore, where people are forced to either imitate what they've done in the past or imitate what's popular. So this might stop people from posting things that aren't on trend, that aren't new, that aren't popular, and in turn might mean that we're missing out on you know potentially fantastic content, new ideas, new approaches, and potentially new forms of inspiration within the hobby. Luckily there are a number of community pages like Best For Many that really help with this exposure problem. They repost and share people's work allowing us to find new artists and inspiration. The issues with posts not appearing on feeds or being able to search for particular types of posts has a direct impact on the number of likes that each post will receive. And we all know that social media is pretty much based around the number of likes and interactions that you get on a post. One thing I don't want people to do is attribute likes to validation. I think this can have a very damning effect on people's mental health and how they view the hobby. It's important to remember all these changes that have happened within the social media landscape and to the platforms that help to drive short form content which might not necessarily align with the posts that you make. It's important to remember why we paint and why we love this hobby. Each model is a journey and take photos along the way. Share them with your friends, share them with your followers, get them out there on social media, regardless of what the algorithm thinks, if they're bangers, if they're perfect, if they're reels, just share them out there. You'll have more conversations and build more friendships within the community. Like 99% of the people that I know in this hobby all come from social media. 
Either I've liked their post, I've sent them a DM, they've sent me a DM, we've engaged in some kind of conversation and now we would consider each other friends. We'll go grab a beer, no problem. And I think that's the best part of this. So do not be afraid to share your content. Do not worry what the algorithm thinks. Just get it out there in front of people and have fun with it. So don't get me wrong, I still love social media, the communities and relationships that we've built. My main gripes are with the apps and this push towards short form content. The lack of visibility around the algorithm and how it's preventing content from appearing in your search, explore or homepage. And how these additional restrictions just add to the pressure and possibly prevent people from posting on social media. I know new platforms are being released regularly but none of them seem to have the same traction or adoption. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter so drop a comment below and let's start a conversation. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop them below in the comments. And if you want to take your painting to the next level, I have a Patreon that's focused around feedback and coaching. You also get access to exclusive guides and content. If you want to show me what you've been working on or what you've been using these videos for, please head over to the Discord and drop some pics into the whips or the completed projects. I would love to see what you've been doing. Just want to say thank you again for watching and I'll catch you at the next one. All links can be found below in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe.